Hello there and welcome to this video. We're going to be looking at section 2.1.1, Fundamentals of Computer Systems, and we're going to be focusing on the importance of ethical, environmental and legal considerations when creating computer systems. This se uh, section could quite easily be a six or eight mark question. Let's get looking at it. So OCR say that you need to be able to explain the importance of ethical, environmental and legal considerations when comp creating computer systems. And what we're going to look at is have a look at some of them. So different ethical reasons to be considering when you're creating a computer system. So first of all, privacy, computing and privacy. Who keeps what, for when, for how long? Who has access to the data? Is the data being kept for a good reason? Responsibility of the computer professionals, being honorable engineers, being making sure that you are being honest, being genuine, being able to look at something and, for example, not overprice someone, make sure that you don't put any uh, vulnerabilities into the system. Uh, computing and disabilities may need to include as many people as possible. Uh, there are different disabilities which may limit um, how someone may use a computer system. It's got to be inclusive. It's got to make sure that everybody is able to access it regardless of disability, whether it be physical or mental. Uh, computing and political freedom. Ethics can raise some very tough questions. You need to think about what you're developing. So, for example, in China, they have very tight restrictions on what you can and what you can't do online. Environmental issues, so for example recycling, you can then um, recycle the different components within your PC to then make sure they don't end up on a landfill site in a different country. Different EU directives, so for example with WE, looks at how waste electrical and electronic equipment can be um, dealt with after it's gone past its shelf life. Refurbish and donate different machines, so for example um, when a, a large company does a new update of its different systems it can donate pieces of equipment to local schools or to different countries to enable them to have IT access. Another idea to be thinking about is sleep or hibernation modes within your PC. Yes, it's not using as much power as if when it was turned on, but it's still draining power, still using power, which then is going to generate a carbon footprint. Try to think, is it suitable to keep in the sleep and hibernation modes, or could it be turned off? Finally, three pieces of law, three pieces of legislation to be considering. There's the Computer Misuse Act, Copyright Designs and Patents Act, and the Data Protection Act. These three pieces of law have been designed and used for different reasons. So the Computer Misuse Act um, looks at unauthorised access to computer material, access to commit a crime, and unauthorised modification of computer material. So that is looking at what damage can be done by misusing a computer, looking at the access that can be obtained, looking at what you can do with data once it's been uh, retrieved. Copyright Designs and Patents Act is what is used a lot for people who uh, perform legal downloads or streaming. Uh, using unlicensed software, using cracked software which might have been found via torrent sites, streaming movies, copying someone else's work, plagiarism. This looks at making sure that copyright law isn't broken. Again, this is massive. So, for example, TV shows such as Game of Thrones in last the series 5 is one of the most pirated TV shows of all time because people were interested in it, but they didn't have access to watch it, so they used unlicensed software, they downloaded, they streamed it from different websites. The Data Protection Act looks at how companies store, use and process your data. So making sure that it's stored and used for the correct reasons, making sure only particular people can look at it. So for example, if you're thinking about a school-based system, a school could hold a lot of information, a lot of personal information about different students. Who has access to that information? Are they allowed to have that access information? Are they or are they not allowed to share it? These three laws are pivotal in how the internet is governed today and how computer use is governed today. I hope this video has been useful for you. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye.